the night we feast. Mm. Arby's, we have the meat. Sixers internet, what's up? That's Corey, I'm Sean. Welcome back to Number Six with Cheese. Today we're headed to Arby's for that brand new Big Game Burger. Now here's the thing, they say we have the meats. Now I believe them. They got them all. Venison and elk. They ain't playing no game. At a fast food restaurant, I'm here for it. So we're gonna get real gamey today. Honey, I'm great. Oh, I'm going. Right? <laughs> Right? <laughs> and then also we want to do a quick shout out to all of our Number Six with Cheese Riot Fest videos that are going up this week and then some next week as well. Uh, we're partnering with Riot Fest to feature a bunch of local artists, local restaurants on and local artists yeah. on Number Six with Cheese. So um, yesterday, shout out to those videos. Yesterday's was. The Elotes, dude, with hot oh, Cheetos yeah. on top of it, covered in butter and mayonnaise. It's amazing. You got to check it out. It's on the channel and there's more cool ones coming up with guest stars. Deanna from Sincere Engineer is so much fun stuff. Yeah, so a lot of fun stuff here at Number Six with Cheese, but today it's time to shoot some. Well, they shot the animals, we'll just eat the animals. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just almost died. Definitely look before you do that. You have that big game burger. Yeah. Can I get two of those? Thank you. Is there a seat in there too? Awesome, thank you. One of the branding was off. I didn't see it on the menu. I got really scared. They were gonna be one of those locations that just didn't have it, but we got it. A lot of dead animals in that bag. Uh, two of the big game burgers have been acquired from the big A. Jump cut. Sixers on the dash, introducing the Corey Wagner second angle. All right, we got one of these little mini oven pocket deals. I like that. Do a little bit of this, and there we go. This is it. Open her up for you guys. So immediately we're seeing some of them uh, onion rings. They've got the barbecue sauce on here, what they're calling a cherry steak sauce, actually. Then the cheese, we've got Swiss cheese and big eye cheese. Never heard of that, but okay. Then for the meat, it's venison elk, venison elk burger. So beef, elk, and venison all in there. There's pickles and a brioche bun that we're dealing with. 30-30-30 basically. You guys need a light for Arby's. It's so funny. And like just three dead animals on this thing. Yeah, dude. Triple loaded. I'm surprised they didn't put bacon on it, like knowing Arby's. Right. There is time if you act immediately. Procure as much bacon as humanly possible and hide it in as many locations as you can. Your patty from that angle looked thick. It's a big game burger just in time for the NFL season. <laughs> All right, here we go. Cheers. Mmm, definitely chewier. Damn here. Oh, cherry. I like that, that that's how they've branded it. People, gamey. Yeah, I'm like, oh, it's real chewy. <laughs> oh, you mean gamey? It makes you feel like a man saying that, doesn't yeah. it? Oh, so not tender? No, <laughs> way chewy. This is always that thing where if you would have given me this sandwich and had me predict what three meats were on it, there's no world I would know. No way, I just say it's old hamburger. <laughs> exactly. I like the cherry sauce. Mm-hmm. Sauce is great. I got a little onion crunch. I like that. I like the flavor all in all. Look at this, I like the sauce on top and bottom. Mm-hmm. I like that I feel really on top of the food chain. Yep. <laughs> three animals, one bite. Mm-hmm. That feels pretty cool. It just makes me feel like a badass, more of a man. The most survival of the fittest thing. I tapped a piece of plastic on a board and someone made me this mm -hmm. and I walked out. Yep. Yeah. And it's 33, 33, 34. Ooh, which one's the most? So it's not even a venison. Mm -hmm. I thought maybe because sometimes like the Wagyu, it's like, oh yeah, it's 3% uh, Wagyu, <laughs> Wagyu burger. You're like, okay, sure. Yeah. Got a little hiccups. After you drink some water, if you don't mind, try a little bit of the burger by itself. Okay. And let me know what you think of just the flavor of the meat. Okay. Without much sauce, if you can. Be honest. No, okay. That is so bland. Very bland. There is no flavor. I, I thought maybe I was going to be wrong. I'm glad you agreed with me. Oh, I agree. I tried to throw you off the case by giving you a little excited. Yeah, you, oh, and I was like, there's no yeah. way. There's no way. <laughs> yeah, I tried, to, I tried to trick you. So is that a big thing with uh, Arby's beef? Just don't season it? Uh, could be, bro. The sauce is really saving the flavor, mm -hmm. I guess. It's, it's really kind of what I'm tasting. And these are really crispy onions. Yeah, sauce and toppings. Yeah. It kind of saves the day a little bit. Ten bucks, though. Do people like really like why would you get this? Recommend. Okay. 
because it's like the burger probably is just as good. And then again, Barbie's burger is 10 bucks. But like, are you like, dude, I'm really in the mood for like a real gamey cheeseburger. Yeah, it's, it's feeling like a man, bro. Like, I've never felt like see, a man. You ever see men who buy whiskey when things exist like Cosmopolitans? That's a good point. <laughs> you know why we do that? You, oh, you like the flavor. Try a Cosmopolitan. Yeah. It tastes like damn candy and it'll get you hammered. <laughs> but you know what? We drink our whiskey, don't we? I got a bottle of it up, up in my sure cupboard. We sure do. It's not a bad drink. I'm quite enjoying it. And I'm going to finish it off. I'm going to give it a thumbs up. We sure do. So much sometimes ego. I want to feel like a man and say stuff like, mm, I'll put hair on your chest. <laughs> yeah. Whether it's true or not, I don't care. Yep, yeah, absolutely. I feel like a big boy. That's got a good burn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's Joe chopping wood. There's Luke tossing the pig skin. Here's Joe bucking a bale of hay. There's Luke taming a stallion. Like, why do you like hurting yourself? Mm, yeah. Fresh bottle. Fresh bottle, baby. Top of the bottle. If I ever get it open with my non-existent name. You got a little dainty here. Do you ever take enough bites of your elk? You know when we get that? But you think if I take one more bite though? Well that grows hair on your chest. Whiskey grows hair on your chest. That grows calcium into your nails. No, I need you. No, there we go. I'm worthless. You grab and you rip. And then you grab and then you rip. That's a professional right there. That is a professional. <laughs> and you get first uh yeah, first, spoils. First droppings. Yeah they call that spoils oh, yeah. in war. It is that's a war thing. Yeah and war also, they call it spoils. Yeah. Somehow war, worse than killing venison and elk. Because you kill people. Depends on uh, who you ask. That, That's the, the, true. Uh, the venison and the elk might disagree. Yes, they would. Me oh, on the uh, other hand, I'm fully on board. Something without cherries in it, but very tasty is Sixer sauce, and I guarantee this is going to smack. Mmm. That is a good teammate with that cherry sauce. Mmm, it is. First time ever having Sixer sauce with some elk and venison. Mm -hmm. Some deer. I had elk one time. Uh, when I was hiking the Swiss Alps, like a man, mm -hmm. and uh, I roll up on this little shop up in the mountain, little restaurant, husband in the kitchen, wife is the wait staff, that's the only employees. Okay. And you, I just had to point at pictures of what, what I wanted. I got fresh mountain elk, and they, he, the, the old guy who spoke no English, mm -hmm. brought me back to the kitchen, had me smelling the pot. Wow. That's not what he was, he wasn't just mumbling, no, he, was he was saying was his speaking. words, <laughs> but I don't know him. And uh, it smelled good, tasted good, and it was a pleasurable experience. It was a way better experience than getting Arby's. <laughs> my mom and my stepdad, they're big um, venison people. Oh like yeah. Phil and up in his blind. Yeah. And then they'll have venison for what seems like years, and they'll put it in everything. Mm -hmm. And I respect it. That was my college roommate. He was a hunter every winter. He'd come back, and we'd have a full freezer of venison to eat through the school year. Yeah. You'd get a little jerky, get some venison steaks, eat some venison ground beef, mm -hmm. whatever you want. I got really excited. Last year, they got a, a half pig. So mm -hmm. I got to like bring some of that home. Now, that was my jam. I'm more of a pork guy, turns yeah, out, than a deer guy. Mm -hmm. Don't need to waste too many more bites on this, I suppose. No, I'm, I'm all set with that. One final chewy bite. Not how you would want your food to be described chewy. Not traditionally, or in this case. Mm -mm. But man, was that six or something? The really only non traditional way would be the way of Wrigley, I guess. <laughs> or the gum producers. Chewy, yeah. yeah like, is it chewy though? Right, Wrigley like, gum. Yeah, yeah. We have most other delicacies now. Real gamey bitch. I'm on my last cold brew from Costco. Real quick before we rate that, a donation shout out two of them today. One to Todd Wynn, a $20 donation. You can always donate below, the videos are links right there. And also five bucks from the homie, David Demanchik. You guys, thank you so much for supporting Number Six with Cheese. That's one of my favorite ways to do it. Donations, and also you can even donate to pick what we eat. But regardless, let's go on to the rating. All right, cue that music. Okay. Out of five, what do you give the big game burger? 10 bucks a burger. 10 bucks, okay, okay. I know where I'm gonna go. I'm feeling actually pretty confident in this. Let's see, should I? Yeah, I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with this. This is definitely more of like a, it's not really my thing, but it yep. didn't do anything wrong. Yeah. Could have been a little cheaper, but I'm assuming a little less chewy for me. Yeah, tender would be nice. All right, cut it off, cut it off. I don't know where you're gonna go with this. I'm curious to see. Mm -hmm. All right, on the count of three, are you ready? Yep. One, two, three. But ah, I went above average, but I also that I respect that. Ten bucks for some chewy meat and some. Oh, the <laughs> sauce is good. Cool. 
that, yeah, I, I actually really like your score back. <laughs> I think I'm being a little too nice. Lean you. I mean, it's fun. You probably gave more points, like creativity points. Yeah. I like didn't it. really give them creativity points because I couldn't get over the chewiness, but it's so cool they're using elk. I respect it. I think both scores have a place in this world. I also will say about Arby's, I love how much they try different things. I respect it. They that. don't fall in line with all the other fast food. They do their own thing, and I dig that. We're getting a, just, you're just getting a little bit of good cop, bad cop over here, Arby's. Yeah, dude. He's letting you know you're doing the right things. I'm over here ready to beat you with a phone book. And I'm gonna get you a cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> it hurt him more than it hurt you. <laughs> I'm, I'll talk to you, you're reasonable. No, no, look at me! Yeah. Yeah. You wanna talk to me? <laughs> I saw how aggressive you were being and I thought, wow, I gotta go even bigger than that since we're doing bad cop, bad cop. What? No, I said good cop, bad cop. Guys, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, look at that on-screen little image, that's fun. And then to comment with you guys here today, what is your favorite animal to eat that isn't a cow, a pig, or a chicken? Ooh. Those are kind of the traditional ones. And um, we do not count fish as animals. They don't have souls, so don't even think about they're it. They're like gingers. So yeah, comment what animal. I would start, maybe land animal, or I don't know if you're eating eagle. I don't know what you're doing, but. Soulless, uh, floppy <laughs> freaks on I don't care for them. <laughs> comment yours, we'll comment ours. I don't know what I'm gonna pick. And we'll see you guys very soon for another episode of Number Six of Cheese. Go check out the Riot Fest stuff, and then we got some more fast food stuff coming this week. So. Anything that smells that bad shouldn't have a soul. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> See you guys. I hope PETA doesn't watch this. Screw fish. <laughs>